Another three days have passed quickly, and it's time again to look back at what the world of spaceflight has brought us. Let's start with the first static fire of the Super Heavy B-9 rocket, which took place at the Starbase in Texas. The second topic will focus on the Indian spacecraft Chandrayaan-3, which successfully entered the lunar orbit. The third topic will mark the 11th anniversary of the Curiosity rover's landing on Mars, which NASA celebrated with a detailed mosaic of its current surroundings. On August 4th, an important test took place at the Starbase in Texas. The Super Heavy B-9 rocket, which is set to undertake its second integrated flight, underwent the so-called Spin Prime test. The Spin Prime test is essentially conducted in the same way as if there were to be an actual ignition of the engines. During this test, propellants, liquid oxygen, and methane pass through the engines but are not ignited. The data from this test looked promising, allowing SpaceX to proceed with further test phases. Local residents received notifications about potentially hazardous testing, indicating that something significant was in the works. On August 6, at 1908 UTC, the static fire of Super Heavy B-9 took place. During this ignition, SpaceX also tested the water deluge system, designed to protect the launch pad from damage. The goal was to ignite all 33 Raptor rocket engines and let them burn for approximately 5 seconds at 70% nominal thrust. However, the reality was a bit different. Four engines did not ignite, and the others burned for 2.74 seconds. The higher number of unignited engines may be related to SpaceX testing a new ignition sequence. Initially, the plan was to ignite the 20 outer engines first, then the 10 in the middle ring, and finally, the three central engines. Additionally, the complex sequence that each Raptor engine must go through for ignition might have played a role. It's fair to say that these engines are still in development. According to current information, Super Heavy B-9 will soon leave the launch pad and move to the assembly area. Engineers will focus on repairing or replacing the engines that did not ignite. In addition, the installation of the upper part with openings for exhaust of gases from engines during so-called hot staging is also planned to take place. As previously mentioned, SpaceX plans to use this method where the Starship's engines ignite before Super Heavy is jettisoned. We previously covered the Indian spacecraft Chandrayaan-3 after its launch, and now we return to it as a significant milestone has been reached. As previously mentioned, the spacecraft weighed nearly four tons at launch, which was too much for the most powerful Indian rocket, LVM-3. Consequently, the rocket was unable to deliver the payload to the moon. The spacecraft remained in an elongated Earth orbit as planned. During selected flybys at the lowest point of the orbit, the spacecraft's propulsion system ignited its engine, resulting in an acceleration that elongated the orbit. The highest point of the orbit was raised higher every time. The maneuver performed on the last day of July extended the trajectory in such a way that it sent the probe on a flyby trajectory towards the moon. On August 5th, a significant milestone was achieved. At 1342 UTC, a nearly 30 and a half minute ignition took place, allowing the spacecraft to settle into an elliptical orbit around the moon. The propulsion system will now perform maneuvers during selected flybys at the lowest point of the orbit, this time to decelerate. Each maneuver will lower the highest point of the orbit. For instance, the first ignition in orbit around the moon performed on August 6th 
reduced the highest point from 18,000 to approximately 4,000 kilometers. The lowest point of the orbit is at an altitude of 170 kilometers. The goal is to achieve a circular orbit at an altitude of approximately 100 kilometers, from which the propulsion module will separate. The lander will then attempt to land on August 23rd. The footage we are currently watching comes directly from the camera on board of Chandrayaan-3. On August 6th, the Curiosity rover celebrated 11 Earth years on Mars. This six-wheeled vehicle has made a significant contribution to the exploration of Mars during its unique mission. Its analyses conducted in the giant Gale Crater have significantly advanced our knowledge of planetary science and astrobiology. To mark this anniversary, NASA presented a mosaic of images, capturing the rover's surroundings. It is a 360 degrees panorama composed of photos taken on July 25th when the rover was at a crater approximately 18 meters wide. If you're wondering why some parts of the image appear black, the answer is simple. There's no censorship involved. As the image is composed of 129 individual frames, some areas at the edges may have not been captured during the imaging. The colors of this image were balanced to represent the lighting conditions as human eyes would see them on Earth. The images also show tracks left by the rover's wheels. Getting to this location was not an easy task for the rover. During its ascent to Mount Sharp, the rover faced slopes with inclines of up to 23 degrees, fine sand, and rocks the size of its wheels. However, thanks to these challenges, scientists were able to explore an attractive area called Jiao, which contains a large number of small craters. If you'd like to download this image to your computer, you have the opportunity to do so. In the description below the video, you will find a link to NASA's website. The image has a resolution of 29,163 by 8,557 pixels and will require a download of 322 megabytes of data. Thank you for watching the 229th episode of Spaceflight News. Our show is now released once every three days, so you can look forward to the next episode on Thursday, August 10th. And if you don't want to miss it, you can simply subscribe.